45-yard line at Tampa Bay. Get a one-on-one, -on -one, which they did, and they succeeded in making seven yards on the play. Second down, three. The Bucks are the first NFL expansion team to win their division in their first four years. Left the Eagles and the wishes of uh, Coach Dick Vermeil. Harris stepped in, and uh, according to the Eagle uh, people that we talked to, has done a good job, especially blocking. Play the tight end of Iowa State. First down, Eagles. They're in Tampa Bay territory at the Tampa Bay 49. You know, George. Over Montgomery. Could have caught that one. Third down, 10. For a first down at the 34, he's caught three today. Two-minute warning. One for a touchdown. Washington saying something to him. All right. Another thing, Kurt, you know, uh, the Eagles really did a good job of utilizing their timeouts when Tampa had possession. Down. The Eagles would be going for it. Here's the pass to Smith. First down to Buccaneer 37. And then finally, Jaws found the big man. Six foot, eight inch Harold Carmichael. Carmichael got into the end zone. The Eagles had one more opportunity, but they could not make it good, and they lost it. 24-17. Leroy Selman, number 63, was a tower of strength all game long. Back now to Irv Cross in the Tampa Bay locker room. Irv, Jane DeMar, Dallas, L.A. How do you look at that one? Well, you know what? A lot of people have so many different reasons why Dallas could win or lose and why L.A. could win or lose. But I think the key is going to be Roger Staubach cannot lose that game. He's going to win it for Dallas. She's got the hot hand, Jimmy. You know, she's the only one who thought Tampa Bay could win this game. Well, we thought it would be close anyway. I didn't. I thought it would be 31-10. Well, you better. had the wrong side. <laughs> All right. We are now on our way to Dallas. We'll see you from there tomorrow. And so, for Kurt Gowdy, Hank Schramm, Jack Whitaker, Irv Frost, Jimmy the Greek, and Jane Kennedy, I'm Glenn Musburger saying so long from Tampa, Florida, where the amazing Tampa Bay Buccaneers have eliminated the Philadelphia Eagles by a score of 24 to 17. The CBS Sports Spectacular is next. So long, everybody. The NFL Today is a presentation of CBS Sports. When we come back. I'm quirky, thank you very much. Here in New Orleans, we're getting set for the Raiders and the Eagles. And as you approach the Dome, all roads lead to the Super Bowl. It's a road the Raiders, some of their fans, found them surprised to be on. Michael? Well, Brian, they're starting to move towards the Superdome, and as you look at the Oakland fans, you have to wonder that today may be the last time that they get the chance to see their team play under the banner of the Oakland Raiders, as Al Davis might have his way come February 9th. But there has been some gratification for them. This has been the most exciting, most improbable season ever. Now only the Dallas Cowboys remain to be conquered. Man who makes the Eagles 
go. At game time, his health was questioned. He was playing on an injured knee. But you couldn't tell it here as he simply races away from a frustrated Dallas secondary. Montgomery's counterpart for the Dallas Cowboys big play man, Tony Dorsett, only gained 41 yards and was frustrated by the Eagles' defense. Terry commits a costly fumble, and it's picked up by the Eagles linebacker, Jerry Robinson, number 56. Eagles control the line of scrimmage, enabling Montgomery and fullback Leroy Harris, number 20, to gain 263 yards on the ground. But it was the man from Abilene Christian who had the day. 194 yards, just too short of the NFL championship game record set by Steve Van Buren. And when it was all said and done, Philadelphia had a 20-7 victory over the Dallas Cowboys and its first football champion since 1960. The story of a football season has many faces. In 1980, some old familiar faces turned up in unfamiliar places. But in Pittsburgh, only the expressions on the faces changed. For the first time in nine years, the Steelers missed the playoffs. Ten times in the past 14 seasons, the Dallas Cowboys were champions of the Eastern Division of the National Football Conference. In 1980, Dallas fans were again confident, bred to a winning tradition that reflected calm and collected Tom Landry. When retirement claimed several veteran Cowboy players, Landry found replacement parts that kept the Dallas machine in gear. The Eagles sensed the collapse of the Dallas Empire and stood like barbarians at the gates of Rome. We want Dallas! Dallas! We hate you! Dallas! Right here! At the vent! At the vent! of quarterback Ron Jaworski. We're here because we've earned the right to be here and we can beat this football team. If the Dallas Cowboys are going to take us for granted, we'll whip their Gives off inside, running with Montgomery off the right side. The 30, 25, 40, 15, 10, touchdown! Cooper Montgomery! Montgomery explodes on the right side, and the Eagles have scored first. Wilbert Montgomery. <laughs> January the 25th, 1981. America welcomes home 52 of its bravest amid the color and excitement of Super Bowl 50.
confident champions of the American Football Conference, the Oakland Raiders danced into this prestigious ball wearing glass slippers. If ever there was a Cinderella champion, it was these men in silver and black. Their NFC champion Philadelphia Eagles, since Dick Vermeil had molded a winner out of a former loser. Because their personality mirrored his discipline and determination, these e Now, man, what do you say? Come on. Hey, guys, we only have 60 minutes to get it done, so no sense in waste. Start on the first play and give it everything you got on every snap, huh? Good luck to all of you, huh? Here we go. Midway through the second period, a series of Jaworski completions set up Philadelphia's first points of the day, a 30-yard field goal by Tony Franklin. At last, the Eagles had reason to hope. They're playing like we would like them to play to beat them. They really are, coverage-wise and, and everything else. Yeah. Look at these guys. The big thing is we're, we're all looking a little bit tight, and they look exhausted already because of nerves, and we got to get them to relax a little bit. Here's Franklin advancing on the football. Up to this, into... Oakland was winning pro football's work. Philadelphia is distinctly in a comeback mode now. It's the eye right. They stand left. Time and again, the Eagles had snowballed down the field, only to melt under the hot glare of the end zone. We got to play. Get, Get going, Howard. Howard. of a world championship. Dick Vermeil must be feeling the sting of frustration right now. Anyone who ever said one game cannot tarnish a great season never lost a Super Bowl. Good as you play to get here and play like that. Sad day, good way to finish the season. Give Oakland a lot of credit. They beat our butts. Yep. On the fluke. Victory created the sort of joyous right, to win the Super Bowl. I think it's a tremendous top of the organization because you had to win four postseason games. I think it's a great credit to you for putting this team together. You've earned it. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Commissioner. This was our finest hour. This was the finest hour in the history of the Oakland Raiders. To Tom Flores, the coaches, and the great athletes, you are magnificent out there today. You really are. And we want to welcome back the hostages to the United States. All right. And take pride and be proud. Your commitment to excellence and your will to win will endure forever. You will magnificent. Yeah.